been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating. Hey guys, welcome back to Palette Therapy. My name is Keela. If this is your first time stopping by, hey, if not, thank you for the support. In today's video, I will be showing you how I got this makeup look. If you're interested in it, continue to watch. But first, I need you to go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notifications bell. I post videos every Thursday. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Now let's get into the video. Hey y'all, so I honestly don't know what look I'm going for today. So y'all just bear with me. I really just wanted to get on here and talk because I feel like I haven't did a video talking in a while and I really miss you guys. And I want to know how has y'all new year been so far? I'm gonna start doing my makeup, but I'm gonna keep talking. Cause I do want to know how y'all new year has been so far. So comment down below, tell me how your new new year has been. Um, thus far, we are in February now, so we survived a whole month. Yay! So yeah, let me know how y'all doing. Um, so of course, first I'm gonna go on my primer. Um, this is the I Love Revolution Peach Delight. It's my favorite primer. Peach is one of my favorite smells. So and it smells just like peach. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way foundation by Too Faced It in the color Chestnut. So yeah, how have y'all new year been? Has it been interesting? Anything new going on? Um, I have managed to accomplish one of my goals. If you watch my goals video for 2020, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I have managed to accomplish one of my goals on the 16th of January, uh, my husband and I launched our Christian apparel um, company, which was really exciting. We've been getting a lot of support from our family, our friends, our church family. So it's really been huge. You know, it's been a big support for us. Cause you know, going into things like that, especially being an entrepreneur, you really just don't know how people are going to respond, you know, and we do understand that um, we are still in the middle of a pandemic. So people do still have, you know, financial obligations and things that are going on. So uh, we really just didn't know what to expect. Um, so I'm really happy with the outcome thus far. Um, if you're interested in buying anything, I will have the website listed down below. But um, <clears throat> our website, our company is called um, Call to His Purpose Christian Apparel. Um, and it's based off the scripture, Romans 8 and 28. So yeah, if you get a chance, go check it out. See if you see something you like, you know, support us. We really, really, really appreciate it. And if you don't, you know, just word of mouth, spread the news. Um, we are a young black business company trying to get off the ground next i'm going to go in with my Too Faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer and the shade warm sand this is what it looks like um i use Too Faced products during the winter time because my skin gets a little lighter and they just have my perfect winter shade basically And it's really full coverage, so any little blemish that you have, gonna cover it up. So I've been watching some other um, YouTubers, of course, that's how you learn things. And um, they say to let your concealer sit a little while before you blend it out um, it makes it more tacky and last longer and look better so <clears throat> i've been trying that here lately and i do like it so i'm gonna let this sit for a few seconds and i'm gonna go ahead and dip into my black radiance contour palette and just chisel up my cheeks a little bit
Next, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my Real Technique sponge. So one of my other goals was to start bringing in um, some real topics of everyday life um, to the channel and just giving you guys my opinion on it and how I handle things. Um, and that is in the works. That'll be called um, tea time or therapy time. Um, and you know, I'll just be talking about real everyday life situations and things that people go through, myself included, and you know, just my opinion on how I handle things and um, how what I've learned, what I've experienced, um, because I do work in the, I do currently work in the mental health field. So I've um, of course experienced some things learned a lot of things but i've experienced some things myself you know hands on so um that is something that i want to bring to the channel um that i'm working on as well i also bought a new camera um if you guys didn't know what you probably do or don't i don't know i actually record my youtube videos on my phone and so um i recently just got a camera to start recording with so I'm excited about that so I can bring you guys better content I'm really excited about that I've been uh, recording videos since July of last year and all my videos have been recorded on my phone so I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like you know the turnout and just to bring you guys better quality videos you know okay so I'm gonna go in with my um, Lancome face powder and or translucent powder and go ahead and sit underneath my eye because you don't want to crease and i will have all the products listed down below if it's something um that you guys are interested in So I'm gonna take some of this same powder and kind of sculpt my cheeks right here just a little bit. Just to clean up my contour a little bit. Some people like to bake. I don't really like to bake because I have um, combination skin. So sometimes my skin is dry, sometimes it's oily, sometimes oily. And baking kind of dries my skin out, and I don't like that. So, you'll hardly ever really see me bake, honestly. Baking is basically um, when people take their powder, their translucent powder, and let it sit on their face for a while. Next, I'm gonna go into my Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa palette and throw on some blush. I'll probably use this as blush and bronzer, honestly. So like I was saying, um, I plan on incorporating some therapy stuff. So um, if you guys have some topics, some subjects that you want to touch bases on, or you want to know about, or you want my opinion on, just let me know. I don't mind. Um, I'm about to go in with my Full Spectrum by CoverGirl, Matte Ambition in the color Tan Golden, and set the rest of my face. I know I kind of look crazy with like I OD'd on the blush, but it's gonna come together. Y'all just bear with me. But that Beauty Bakery blush is, um, it's, it's something serious, guys. 
anyways, um, so some of the stuff <clears throat> I want to talk about um, that other people have reached out to me about on my social media. If you don't follow me on my social media, my Instagram is underscore palette therapy. My Twitter is at palette therapy one. Uh, so yeah, if you don't already follow me. But some of the topics people are interested in are, um, you know, things about relationships, how to set boundaries with people, um, what do you do while you're single. You know, I've had some people ask me some spirituality questions. So I plan on covering a lot of those things um, going forward. Next, I'm going to use this Smashbox. Halo cheek palette. This will be my first time using it. This is what it looks like on the outside. That's my bad. I got makeup on it. It's really pretty. And it comes with two highlighter colors and two blush colors. I am going to use the highlighter colors to go ahead and highlight my face. And I'm probably going to use this golden color. I usually like gold colors on my skin tone. They just complement melanin skin really well. Ooh, that's pigmented. But I'm excited to uh, give my take on some things and let people hear <clears throat> my opinion. It's really picking to y'all so y'all be if y'all decide to get this be careful because yeah it's easy to OD on it so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and then we're gonna move into eyes and this is just the morphe continuous setting mist for the eyes I'm going to be using this palette called um actually I don't even know how to say this Y'all can see it. A uh, brand on YouTube, not YouTube, Instagram reached out to me and sent me this palette. And it's really, really pretty. This is what it looks like. Let me take the plastic off. But it's really, really pretty. And so, um, I want to try it. Try something new, you know. See what we can get out of here. But it's got some really really pretty range of shades actually so some shimmers some mattes I'm excited to go ahead and prime our eyelids so the color can pop oh god so there's also something I gotta tell y'all I was gonna wait till I just put the video out but I'm gonna tell y'all anyways so in December I actually got COVID and <clears throat> that's why in some of my videos, if you watched my Glow Up With Me Winter Edition video, um, I tell you guys that I've, I've been under the weather and I'm getting over that. That's actually what I was getting over. I had it for about two to three weeks. I actually didn't start feeling better until about three weeks later. But um, I'm going to release a video or do a video on my COVID-19 experience. And in that video, I'm gonna tell you guys everything I went through, like everything I experienced. Because a lot of people still do not think that this virus is real or that it's serious. And it is, like it is. Take care of yourself. Make sure you are wearing your mask. You know, make sure you're sanitizing, washing your hands. Being careful who you're around. I mean, even if you got to ask people like, hey, the wellness questions, have you had a fever? Have you been sick? You know, I don't want to get sick. Whatever the case may be, do whatever you can to keep yourself safe. Because it's your, <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to make sure you're okay. And once you've done everything in your power, I mean, it's a virus. So you're not always going to be able to avoid it. Um, that's just like the flu or, you know, um, the common cold. You can't, you can't avoid them. They're gonna, you know, it may happen to you. It may not, you know, it's a virus and it has to run its course. And of course 
there's really no cure for viruses. So um, that's kind of just, that was just my um, take on it because I did everything in my power to try to keep myself safe and I still got it. I didn't make a big deal about it. I didn't, you know, go all crazy like some people do, but I do plan on um, releasing a video just telling you guys my full experience with it, how, you know, how it affected me and my family and things like that. So y'all stay tuned to that. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to drop that one, but it's definitely something um, I plan on doing because I want to bring recognition to this virus and to let people know like, hey, it's real and, you know, there's really nothing we can do about it but to continue to follow CDC guidelines and take care of ourselves. Lay down at night, I miss you by my side, telling me about your secrets. I dream and I'm just putting a brown shade all over my lid. You about my regrets. Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was with the shallow, my mind was waiting. And I think I'm just gonna take a gold shade and just put it on top of it. Just put it on the lid itself. I don't want, I just want to do something simple today. And that's all I'm gonna do to the eyes. Um, I'm gonna take this Kiss Lash Glue Liner in black and kind of line my eyes to get them ready for eyelashes. I do the things that I should do, so I can forget, but you're always on my mind. Thought you'd be gone by tomorrow, but you're still there tomorrow. And the next day, the next day. The lashes I am using are the Kiss Lush Extension Collection, the Ultimate Lash Extension Look, and the Style Russian Volume. So normally if I do a simple look, I do dramatic eyelashes. So these are dramatic eyelashes. Go back in and put my beauty marks back on my face. And I switched uh, pens. This is the Revlon Color Stay Sharp Line Liquid Eye Pen. So I don't want you guys to think I'm putting eyelash glue on my face. I'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow palette and just line the bottom of my eyes using that dark brown shade that I use on the top. Going with 
with some mascara. This is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Waterproof Mascara. You know, these lashes really trying to give me the blues. This is how makeup really go, guys. You know, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we edit the videos and we edit out our mis mistakes, but it really do like be like this. Like these eyelashes really give me the blues. So I'm finna switch to my other eyelash glue. Start all over. I know we make it look easy, but let me tell you, we all run through issues. The eyelash glue I'm using right now is the Duo Brush On Adhesive Eyelash Glue. You just wanna let that dry just a little bit before you try to put your lashes back on. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips while we waiting on it. Um, I got this brown Wet n Well eyeliner pencil. Let me buy this from Walmart or beauty store. For a dollar, cheap brown pencil, but get the job done. And I had some new. Oh, here we go. I got a new. Lip gloss I want to show you guys by ColourPop. This is what it looks like. Looks like it's got a little thick consistency. Okay, I like it, but y'all know I like for my lips to be glossy glossy. So I'm gonna go in with one of my faves, my Bath and Body Works Champagne Lip Gloss and just go on top of that. Let's try these lashes again. <laughs> All right, there we go. Looking like something now. They said I faced and we are done. While that's doing it, I missed a step. I didn't do my inner corner. I'm gonna go back and do that while my face is drying. And then we're done. Now that we finally got our lashes on right. Okay, so now I'm gonna go change clothes and do something to my hair and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know some things you guys wanna see in the future. Uh, don't forget to comment down below how your 2021 has been going. I really do read the comments, so I do wanna know how you guys have been doing. Thank you for the support as always, and I will catch you in my next video. Somebody told me I should hit and run, but they don't know, they don't know, they don't know.